After many requests, I have begun a series of videos which will focus on algebra problems. Before we can start to work on algebra problems, though, we need to know more about the order of operations. Think about the order of operations as if it is learning how to drive. It is an agreed upon way to do things so that there are no accidents, or, in math terms, so there are no wrong answers. Here is the list of things we will look for and the order in which we will look for them. The first is parentheses, and then exponents, multiplication and division, and then finally addition and subtraction. Some people remember it by calling it PEMDAS, using the first letter of each of the words, P-E-M-D-A-S. Others use a saying that goes, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Whatever method works for you, use it. Let's take this example and work it out with the order of operations as our guide. The first step we have to look for are parentheses, and in this question there aren't any, so we can skip on to the next step, exponents. And again, there are no exponents in this example, but there is a multiplication step. We have 4 being multiplied times 6, so we'll do that step first. 4 times 6, of course, is 24. So we'll put the answer to that where the 4 and the 6 used to be. Then we'll bring down all of the other numbers and the operations that we haven't done just yet. So we will bring down the 2 and the plus symbol from where they were in the first step. Now we look for division, and there aren't any. Then we see an addition step which we have to work out. 2 plus 24. This of course gets us to 26, and we're finished. So the answer to that original example was 26. In this example, we have both multiplication and division operations. Many people mistakenly believe the order of operations mean to always do multiplication before division, but we have to treat them as a set and do both at the same time. We start on the left-hand side of the problem and work our way to the right doing whichever of the two comes first. So we'll do 4 divided by 2 is 2. Bring down our times 6 so that the last step is 2 times 6, which gets us to 12. Again, we will treat multiplication and division as a set. And actually, we'll do the same thing with addition and subtraction, which we'll look at in the next example. This time, we're combining a couple of different steps. Go ahead and try it on your own first. I'll give you time. Then, watch me work it out and see if you've gotten to the correct answer. We have 7 plus 4 divided by 2 times 6 minus 1. Go ahead and pause the video to work on the problem and resume playing when you've finished. So we'll have to look for parentheses. There are none exponents, there are none of those either. But we do have multiplication and division. Now remember I said we'd have to do both of these at the same time, whichever comes first from left to right. So the division comes before our multiplication. So 4 divided by 2 gets me to 2. I will bring down everything else in the problem because I'm only going to do one thing at a time. At this step, multiplication goes before either the addition or the subtraction. So 2 times 6 gets me to 12. I bring down all the other numbers. Now here I have addition and subtraction, so I'll just work this one out from left to right. 7 plus 12 gets me to 19. And lastly, 19 minus 1 gets me to 18, the correct answer for this question. Our last example is going to combine everything that we've learned. Go ahead and work this one out on your own, just like before, and I'll solve it for us. But remember the order of operations. Look for parentheses and things to do inside of them. Once we're inside of parentheses, we look back to our order of operations to tell us what to do. In this example, we have parentheses and some different operations to do inside of them. So within our parentheses, we can either look at the exponent, the subtraction, or the multiplication first. According to the order of operations, we then need to do exponents first. So 4 squared is 16, and I'll copy down everything else. At this step, we still have parentheses to worry about, and inside of the parentheses, I will either subtract or multiply. And again, according to the order of operations, multiplication comes before the subtraction. So I do 2 times 1 is just 2. Bring down everything else. At this step, I still have something to do inside the parentheses. 16 minus 2 gets me to 14.
Now don't forget that if you have a number next to a parenthesis with nothing in between them, that means the number inside the parenthesis is being multiplied times the number on the outside. So here I have a multiplication step. I need to do that next. 2 times 14 is 28. Once I bring down everything else, I see that the next step is either addition, subtraction, or division. And of course, I will do the division first. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Bringing down everything else, I see that I have nothing but addition and subtraction left. So I'll work this last step out from left to right. 3 plus 28 is 31, minus 2 gets me back down to 29 for my final solution. Look for a link to my blog in the description of this video. There I will post some sample questions and answers for extra practice. If you found this video helpful, please like it and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the latest videos. Thanks for watching!